good morning to all you aesthetic athletes out there. Today is April 23rd, 2017. Now today I just uploaded my five weeks out and I'm looking really good. Now I'm looking a little soft, I'm looking a little watery because I've been sick for the past I'd say a good three, four days and that's definitely been bothering me it's been cutting my workouts a little bit for like there's two days i was supposed to go work out and i couldn't i did a little bit of cardio at home but there's even cardio I was supposed to do this morning and i couldn't do it so i'm not looking the best that i should be but i am hitting 160 pounds which i'm very very happy with now there's one thing i want to talk about and i've said this in many videos never really went over it very well but there's a four week mini cut that i t that i've been doing and i i've been doing this for the last four weeks and now I want to go through with it. I want to uh, not go through with it. I want to go over it. And I've been doing cuts, like I've been cutting down before this, but I made this four week cut to kind of give me a goal every <clears throat> single week to hit um, what I'm doing for cardio and stuff like that. With workouts, it's all the same. Cardio is what changes, diets what changes, stuff like that. So let's go over it right now. Anyways, we got here our four week mini cut. So week one, we did 10 minutes of fasted cardio. This is all on workout days. Then 15 minutes after my workout of hit cardio, my goal was 168, I hit 168, days completed. Week two, same thing, just increased the fast cardio, hit 164, so I lost about almost four pounds there. Next week, 20 minutes fasted. Okay, now with this last third and fourth week, I did not do 20 minutes of fasted. I felt that was too much. I was going 3.2 miles per hour, so I kept it at 15 and it was relatively good. It says days completed here. Now, I believe I slacked off one of the days here. Slacked off about two of the days for the four week. But I ended up reaching 162.2. Here, I ended up reaching 160. So here, there's a bigger difference between the two. Or it's re relatively the same for this as well. But anyways, you can see that I did not do the 20 minutes. I just want to keep that in mind. I did 15 minutes of fasted, 15 minutes after my workout. And I still hit 160, it was a little bit tough for this week because of being sick. Now, I also wrote down here, Saturdays are carb refeed days, meaning uh, I'm trying to eat a little bit more, still healthy, just a little bit more so my body can kind of refuel out of everything. And I started this March 25th and now it's the 23rd. So it's been about a month since I started this. Um, not all the time I would write down exactly the day that I did it. Um, it's it, it just gives you a goal really and I feel like a lot of people are lacking that when it comes to doing a diet doing a routine um, they just look at the end goal but if you do short goals in short periods of time it makes you kind of look at that it makes you it makes you think it's like okay I got to focus about this week then once the next week comes and you focus on this week and it doesn't feel like a longer process you're just doing it slowly by slowly and you're not thinking about oh I have to do this for four weeks or five weeks or or two months or whatever it may be. Um, it just kind of gives you that those smaller goals to worry about so you don't get so stressed out that you have to do all of this for 62 days or whatever it may be. So I just thought I'd go over that because now, now it's time to make a new cut, a new cutting routine for the next four weeks because I am five weeks out but peak week is only one week and that you can't do anything. So. Yeah, four weeks. I got four weeks to do whatever it is I want to do. I do not know exactly yet what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make something right now, and I'm gonna make. I'm gonna stay stick to it. Um, obviously there might be times where I mess up, but I'm gonna stick to it as my best I best of my ability. And four weeks. I'm gonna make four weeks right now for myself as to what I'm gonna be doing for the next four weeks when it comes to cardio. Uh, when it comes to not working out because I already always do the same thing. Lots of drop sets, lots of super sets, stuff like that. Um refeeds is gonna be similar I believe um, with refeeds I've been messing that up sometimes sometimes I would have it on a Friday and a Saturday uh, just because I work so that would add on to all the calories that I'm gonna burn off that day roughly depends on what's going on but this is kind of to get the gist of everything so I'm gonna go create that right now see you guys in a second I'm gonna do a cool little transition see if this works oh wait okay. try this again okay guys so 
this is gonna be my four week mini cut series for the next four weeks. We're gonna be doing here fasted, 15 minutes. 15 minutes after workout, hit cardio. Now this is gonna be a faster pace than what I did before. Um, I'm gonna be increasing it about five miles per hour, a little bit more than what I did before, but I will notice the difference. Goal is 158 pounds. Week two, 20 minutes fasted, 50 minutes. It's also gonna be fast. All these hit cardio now, it's gonna be a lot faster than I did before. 156 pounds is the goal. Anything under than these guys, I'm hoping to get. About 158 and 156, I would be happy with that if I reach that goal. Now, week three, 20 minutes fasted, 15 minutes after workout, 155. So I increase it to fasted for the last, or the first, uh, second and third week. Uh, reason for that is I've been doing 15 minutes fasted for a while now. So I believe it has to be 20 minutes no matter what it takes. I mean, by then, you should, I should have that motivation to do that 20 minutes. Now, here, it's a little different. Week four, 30 minutes fasted, slow. Reason for it being slow on either the bike or treadmill is the fact that when you do that much fasted cardio, and I'm gonna be at that low of a weight already, I don't wanna be burning all my all my fat, right? Like, your body still needs a little bit of fat, and I don't want it to start to lead to building, I mean, uh, burning muscle, and that's the last thing I want. So that's why even with the hit cardio, it's gonna be 10 to 12 minutes hit after. And I do not wanna be burning muscle, so I'm doing 30 minutes fasted slow, um, if I need to increase it, I need to change things, I always can, but this is what I'm doing for hit. This is what I'm gonna do for week four. This is gonna be one week prior to peak week. Peak week, I'll still be doing cardio, but that's for another time to be going over. Friday is gonna be one sweet potato pack. Saturday is gonna be two sweet potato packs. Now, that's for my refeeds, and I might be including Sunday as well for one sweet potato back pack. <laughs> um, if not, I'll be changing that up. If that doesn't work either I'll be even not using the packs no more I'll just be doing it myself so that's what we're gonna be doing guys I mean it's gonna be a crazy crazy road um, four weeks is in a way you could look at it as long or you could look at it as short now I'm looking at it week by week week one all I have to focus this is all I have to focus on is doing 50 minutes fasted 50 minutes after my workout hit cardio and reaching that 158 so when I diet, I gotta realize that I'm dieting properly. When I do cardio, I'm doing it properly. I'm doing it on the days I'm supposed to. Um, I should be getting enough sleep. You know, I shouldn't be going to bed so late how I've been these past couple of days. Um, and and I just gotta stick to it, week by week. Don't look at it as just it's a like that's why I wrote four week mini cut. You know, it makes that mindset. It's a mini cut. It's only four weeks, right? I'm five weeks on my competition. That's not that long at all. That's like a month, really. And that's a short period of time for people to lose and cut down. A lot of people start 12 weeks out, and that's what I did. I was 175, if I'm not mistaken. I'm 160 right now. So, you know, I didn't lose all fat. Some of that was is water as well. But guys, four weeks, four week mini cut. So um, you guys could go through this with me if you like. You're more than welcome to. But this is uh, something very, very strict on myself. Um, it's not very easy for most individuals out there to do this. Um, it's definitely something to try out. But I don't recommend it. Um, if I was to recommend something, if you're new to lifting, include cardio into your workouts. Maybe start with 10 to 15, depending on what your level is at. That's why it's good to get a specific program for yourself because it, it relates to what to where you're at. And then once you get stronger, once you get uh, better when it comes to cardio, you can adapt to that and you can add more and more and more. Uh, anyways, that being said, that's pretty much the video today. I just want to talk about that four week mini cut that I'm going to be now doing uh, for the next four weeks four weeks and then when it comes peak week um, I'm gonna be trying to uh, trying to know I'm gonna be making a video every single day for peak week now there's something I do want to try and I'm thinking of doing this I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna be but May 1st I'm thinking about doing a video almost every single day now that's gonna be really hard uh, because I am gonna be doing school doing work everything so I'm gonna have schedule videos stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna see if I'm able to do that. If I'm not, you know, I'll try to upload as many videos as I can. But May 1st is when I'm gonna start or try to do a video every single day. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed that video though. Um, that's pretty much the gist of what I wanted to talk about for today. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like below. It does help a lot. Leave a comment. I like to see what you guys, what you guys' thoughts are. I will reply to them. Any questions, feel free, guys. Once again, please leave a like below, come subscribe, and get aesthetic bra.